Hey, hi, and hello, welcome back to the channel today. Really excited to have you here for a, re a review video today on a monitor, the Alienware 2521H gaming monitor. This monitor is a 25 inch gaming monitor with an incredible 360 hertz refresh rate and a one millisecond response time. I've had this monitor for a couple of weeks. I've been playing some games on it, testing it out, stress testing it a little bit where I can, see what it can do and what it can't. And I've got this video here for you today to give you my final thoughts. So let's get it started. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I love responding to you guys and helping you guys out, especially when it comes to technology. So feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. Before we get officially started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Alienware Oz. I've been working in partnership with Alienware Oz since early 2019 and it's been an incredible partnership that is continuing on into this year and beyond. Today's video is brought to you by Alienware Oz as they sent me this monitor, this beautiful 2521H to check out. If you or anyone you know in Australia or New Zealand are interested in picking up Alienware peripherals, monitors, computers, anything of that kind of sort that Alienware make, check out the link in the description and head to the Alienware official website and use code OPTI at checkout for 15% off your purchase. All right, let's get into the nerdy details, hey? So as I mentioned, I've had this monitor for a couple of weeks at the time of filming. I've had it for about two weeks now. So I've hooked this monitor up to my Alienware M17 R3 gaming laptop. That laptop, by the way, has a 2080 Super in it, just so you know kind of specification wise as to how my games would be running. There's a link in the description and in the card above into the video talking about the M17 R3. I hooked this monitor up to that laptop to really kind of test it out and I didn't have another PC laying around that I could use it with. And the setup process straight away is honestly really easy. I dread setting up tech mode nine times out of 10 because it takes forever and something is usually bound to break, but this was really, really simple. It's got instructions in the box, of course, but it's very straightforward and simple even without the instructions. Straight out of the box, you got power cables, you got a HDMI cable, you got everything you need inside the box uh, to power and run the monitor. The monitor, of course, comes with the signature Alienware stand for this brand of monitor, which is honestly one of the most fantastic things about it. It's super easy and simple to set up with simply just screwing the base of the stand onto the main part of the stand with a little screw nozzle on the bottom. And then the actual main part of the monitor stand just simply clicks into the back of the monitor. The weight of the monitor on its own off stand is just over four and a half kilos, which is just shy of 10 pounds. The monitor on its own without the stand is very easy to carry, nothing too major. However, with the stand on top of it, which is built for durability and to hold the monitor, it can be a little bit challenging to hold and I would not recommend uh, running around with it. The monitor on the back and underside comes with 10 slots and ports for various purposes. And I'm gonna highlight a couple of the really cool ones here. It's got two HDMI 2.0 ports. You could use one for your computer, which is the main purpose of this. And you could use it the other one for your TV or your console potentially, if you like. And it's also got four USB 3.2 slots with one of those slots next to the headphone jack on the underside of the monitor dedicated using the NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer. You're able to plug your mouse into the monitor when the monitor is powered on, click your mouse, and actually see how fast the response time is you're getting. Now, this is really cool. I don't see this on any monitors, and I'm assuming it's new technology because I've never heard of it myself before, and that's honestly really, really cool. This monitor goes above and beyond already with it being a 360 hertz gaming monitor, then on top, the one millisecond response time, and then on top of that, to be able to plug your mouse directly into the monitor and to test the latency of the, your mouse clicks is really cool. This monitor's got a native full HD 1080p resolution, which is giving a fantastic uh, pixel per inch ratio. And I've, I, you can absolutely notice that straight away, even, even on my loading screens for Windows or on my backdrops on my computer, the main desktop of your computer, you can really notice the beautiful color ranges and the quality of the monitor from the minute you open your computer. One thing that I truly enjoyed about this monitor was the color range on it. It's got up to a 99% sRGB color coverage, which is just 
amazing. It's built in with several different profiles to be able to customize the color to MMORPGs, MOBAs, uh, shooters, anything along those kinds of lines. But for the purpose of this, I left it on standard because that's what most people tend to leave it on anyways. I was very impressed with the color coverage of standard on the 2521H. It looked beautiful. It picked up the colors of my games well. I tried Grand Theft Auto and as we know, Grand Theft Auto is a very big open world title that has a lot of colors and whatnot in it. And going for a drive through the major towns in your car or in the hills on your motorbike was a really special experience on this monitor with its dynamic color ranges. It picked up fantastic color and a fantastic quality and I was not disappointed with this. Another thing I got to give props for in this department here is the fact of the cable management within the monitor itself. Now I only had two cables plugged into the monitor, the HDMI port into my laptop and then the power port obviously is all I had plugged in. But I'm a bit of a neat freak and I don't like cables hanging down as often as I can. I like to cable manage where possible and this monitor makes it really really easy to do that. It's got a beautiful little cable tray tucked on the underside of the monitor where you tuck your cables through to plug them in to filter them through into the plug that you want and then on top of that it's got a little back cover on top of that so you don't see the actual ports if you're looking from the behind of the monitor and in a lot of esports environments particularly you're going to see the back of the monitor quite often and it can be it can take away from the level of immersion I guess you could say if you're seeing the ports on the back of the computer. In the monitor stand as well there's a little hexagonal hole that you can filter your cables through and run them through the back of your desk to plug in that way they're neatly cable managed all through one hole. The only thing with this little uh, hexagonal hole for the cable management is that it can be a little bit small and power cables are often a little bit tricky so just watch with how many big cables you're putting into that. The monitor stand as well is height adjustable obviously I am a taller person so I used it on the maximum height but it is fully height adjustable and you can then on top tilt either way the monitor whichever way you would like to fit it to your comfort gaming level whether or not you're sitting literally right in front of it or you're sitting 10 feet away there is a uh, level of tilt and height to suit everybody. One thing we've got to talk about with this monitor is the visual design and things of that nature. The monitor has built-in alien effects profiles and you can make custom ones and such of that nature but it's absolutely fantastic being able to customize the colors on this monitor. If you've got your monitor away from a wall so the back stand and the back of the monitor isn't facing on a wall. It's really nice to be able to take in a, a spectrum profile where it just runs through a spectrum of colors or to set it on your favorite color. By default, the uh, Alienware 2521H comes on the Alienware branded light blue color, uh, which is a beautiful, beautiful color. But personally, I changed it to the spectrum effect to see the full range of colors that it had and I really, really loved it. The highlight for me of my period of time testing this monitor it has to be playing Rainbow Six Siege on it. Rainbow Six Siege is one of the world's biggest esports titles and it's it's known for its competitive nature and I wanted to test a really solid shooter and Siege is one of the only shooters that I play at the moment and here the refresh rate steals the absolute show on Rainbow Six Siege. I'll show you some footage that you'll be able to see while I'm talking but uh, I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed playing Rainbow Six Siege on this monitor. The laptop's performance was impeccable with nothing else running at the time. It was running really high in the hundreds of FPS, but running it at 240 to 360 hertz refresh rate on Rainbow Six Siege was an absolute delight. I never thought I'd truly notice the difference between 144 hertz and 360 hertz or higher than 144, but I really did notice the difference with this. It just, it felt fantastic playing on a monitor that had that capability to go up to that level. Now obviously granted you have to be playing a game that has the capability to go that high in terms of uh, refresh rate. Not all games are going to be supported with a 360 hertz refresh rate. As more and more games come out and the technology advances, more and more games will have the 360 hertz refresh rate option. But the response time was fantastic. I was a little concerned as to how it was going to respond with playing on a laptop with an external mouse and keyboard plugged in and then, you know, an additional monitor plugged in. I was worried with that, but I didn't notice any difference. Over the years, I've used a lot of laptops with external monitors and there's often been a slight delay or a lag, even when I'm just typing in a Word document or something, you know, last year when I was on my Zoom classes. But with this monitor, I didn't feel like I was getting any kind of discrepancy. That response 
response time was absolutely fantastic. But yeah, this monitor really stands out in the shooter aspect realm. I think it is a beautiful monitor for that. So in summary, this is a really, really beautiful monitor. The monitor retails for just under 1200 Australian dollars, which could be on the pricey end. But when you think about it, I like to say with this especially that you're getting bang for your buck. You're, get, you're getting a quality product out of this. You're getting the world's fastest refresh rate out of this. You're getting incredible reflex latency analyzing technology through NVIDIA. You're getting dynamic color ranges. You're getting a full HD resolution. You're getting some of the best tech on the market here and I've thoroughly enjoyed my time uh, playing on this monitor. But that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the monitor in the comment section below or ask any questions and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for gaming setup technology content every single week here. Don't forget if you're in Australia and or New Zealand, use code OPTI at checkout for 15% off on the official Alienware website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your time zone and until next time, bye bye.